Good morning, my brother, and welcome to our continuation in Summer in the Psalms. And I've got a couple uh, from yesterday, a couple guys asking, you know, how do we share our story? And I'll give you kind of a simple formula that I started out back over 20 years ago was when you look at sharing your story, let's just look at if you did it in front of your church, in front of a small group of guys, let's just look at a 15 minute message, okay? So just break it up into three five minute segments. Look at five minutes of just explaining where you were before you came to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So you, when you hear my story, all, you know, every time I go back to the 1997 Masters, right? A bucket list trip. So I camp out on there, that was my life. And then boom, I came home to Leslie, wife of two years to say I'm out of this marriage. And so that's kind of my first five minutes is just setting it up of this is where I was at, pursuing, pursuing the world's definition of success, all about money. And then all of that started to get stripped away. And then five minutes of, you know, how did I come to know Jesus? How, how did that happen for me? It was, you know, I came across the In His Grip book. And then I started to, because there's Bible verses in it, started to dive into the Bible. And God really hit me with those two verses, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And I was trying to trust my own ways. And then learned that I need to trust God with all my heart, lean not on my own understanding, but in all my ways, <laughs> submit to him and he will guide my path. So that's the five minutes of how I came to know Jesus. And then five minutes after like, okay, now I am walking with Jesus. What am I gonna do? And I just kind of took my passion for golf and my new passion for the Lord. and just try to put those two together. And that's really the initial stages, beginning, beginning stages of in his grip. Um, and so I just kind of show what God is doing in and through uh, that um, combination of, of golf and him. Okay, so five minutes before knowing Jesus, five minutes how you came to know him, five minutes after. That is just a really easy formula to follow and it works. So I hope that helps, okay? All right, today is Psalm chapter 113. What verse rose up for you? Mine was verse 4. There's going to be a theme, just as you see, through different weeks or days that God's going to rise up for you. And man, when those themes come, just camp out on them. So here's the verse. Verse 4. The Lord is exalted over all the nations, his glory above the heavens. That's my G. So as I move down to the grip, I here's my R for reveal. In so many ways, the world, all the nations, appear to be spinning out of control. We can be 100% confident that God is still and will always be in control. So that's my R. My I, as I drop down for the implementation, is this. I need to keep sharing the good news with the people that the Lord puts in my in my path. Yes, even including the people on social media. So if you kind of watch on maybe Twitter or Facebook or LinkedIn, um, which is kind of new for me the last year to really share uh, Bible verses or the grip and guys, if I'm honest with you, when I first started doing that, many guys did not like it. In fact, I had several guys say, get this crap off here. It's not what it's for. It's a business platform. Get this religious stuff off. And you got to make a decision at that point. For me and my house, <laughs> we're going to serve the Lord. And it's just who I am. And I said, gosh, you know, I'm sorry. Um, this is who I am. Um, I just would recommend not following me. You know, this is content that does not uh, fit with you. Uh, pray a blessing on you. And you know, that's just kind of how uh, I'll leave it at those. So here is, so social media, yes, can be a platform for the good news. And I'll just leave it as that for now. My P, my prayer, Lord Jesus, use me, Lord, as an extension of your work here on earth. Take in his grip and use it exponentially to impact the world 
for your glory. All right, that's me gripping 113 verse 4. Love to hear your verse. Love to hear uh, your story. I'm going to keep revisiting with you in that. Just break that up five minutes or just look at what's the story before you knew Jesus? How did you come to know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And then five minutes after of what is life now been like as you trust in the Lord. Guys, if there's some of you in the middle that have not yet made that commitment to follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please, please reach out to me. Let me kind of walk you through what those next steps would be, okay? It's, it is the most important decision you'll ever make in your life. It's all about a relationship with Jesus. That is what will define you as a child of the one true king. Not as an attorney, not as a successful businessman, not as a professional athlete, not as a teacher, not as a coach, not even a leader in a ministry. It is your identity can only be in Jesus. That is where your true worth is. All right. Let me close this out with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, again, thank you, God. As we open up your word, Lord, you just speak. You speak into the depths of our heart. And Lord, I would just ask that if there's one of our brothers here that has not yet accepted you as their personal savior, Lord, nudge them to take that step. And Lord, I'll, I'll close with a prayer that I prayed back in 1997. And if that one person, brother, if this is for you, to make that 100% decision to follow Jesus, just follow me in this prayer, Lord Jesus, I come to you today and ask for forgiveness of the sins that I've committed in my life. Please forgive me, Lord. Jesus, I open up my heart for you to come in, be the Lord of my life. God, from this day forward, Jesus, I will follow you. I will become a Christ follower and not just somebody in the audience. Jesus, direct my life from this day forward. I ask this in your powerful name. Amen. All right, guys, if you pray that, please contact me. Let me love on you and encourage you and celebrate with you. There is no other decision in life more important than that, making sure you are a child of God and accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day.